Do you know what is glossophobia and how you can get rid of it? My friends, glossophobia is the scientific word for the fear of public speaking. As per the research, more than 75% people have glossophobia and public speaking is feared more than that. So do you have glossophobia and do you feel butterflies in your stomach before going for your presentation or do you get so nervous in front of audience? If you do, don't worry my friends because in this video, I'm going to share with you 7 step formula which can help you to get rid of glossophobia. My friends, John Fred has said that you can speak well if your tongue can deliver the message of your heart. So the first step which I have for you which can help you to get rid of glossophobia is speak from the heart. There's so many presenters, they commit this common mistake. When they have to speak something in front of audience, when they have to give presentation, they just memorize their content, they just by heart their content. This is really very common mistake. So if you have to speak something in front of your audience, speak from the heart. Don't memorize your content, right? It is important for you to speak from here because if you will speak from the heart, your audience will be able to relate it and your audience will enjoy your presentation and then you can become a great presenter in your life. Second step which can help you to get rid of glossophobia is practice, practice, practice. There are so many people they come on stage without any preparation. My friends, confidence is the key to get success. Then what is the key to get confidence? Preparation. If you have prepared well, then only you will be able to speak well, right? So it is important for you to prepare your speech before your presentation. Just speak in front of mirror, speak in an empty room. Just prepare yourself. It will give you a lot of confidence which will help you to give killer presentation in front of your audience. So practice, practice, practice because it is also very important to get rid of glossophobia. Third step, avoid negative self-talk. There's so many presenters I have seen when they have to come on stage, when they have to face the audience, they always come with negative thoughts. If I will be rejected, then what will happen? If my audience will not take interest in my topic, then what will happen? If I commit any grammar mistake, then what people will think about me. So if you're coming with negative thoughts, then you will not be able to give you a good presentation and intentionally or unintentionally you will commit some silly mistakes, right? So it is important for you to come with positive self-talk. When you come in front of audience, just try to say something positive to yourself like I can do it, I can face the audience, I have the ability to speak in front of large crowd. If you will come with positive attitude, with positive affirmation, then definitely you will give great presentation and you will feel confidence in you which will help you to give the best presentation in your life. Fourth step which can help you to get rid of glossophobia is visualize your success. Just imagine if you will give the best presentation then how would you feel means after your presentation right you will feel so positive you will feel so confident right so it is important for you to visualize your success before going for presentation just sit on a chair and close your eyes and visualize your success and imagine that you are speaking in front of a large crowd with confidence with a lot of positive attitude and people are listening to your speech people are enjoying your presentation and they're clapping and they're encouraging you and they liked your message very much. How would you feel in this situation? You will feel awesome, you will feel so energetic, so confident, right? So visualize your success before going to presentation. Fifth step is focus on your material, not on your audience. There are many presenters, you just focus on audience. They are so much conscious about audience. They feel that if I will commit any mistake, then my audience is going to catch it and they are going to make fun of me after the presentation. Right? So don't focus on your audience. Don't be too much conscious about your audience. It is important for you to focus on your material. Just prepare it well and just plan it very well. Then definitely you will give best presentation. Right? So don't focus on your audience. Just focus on your material. Sixth step which can help you to get rid of glossophobia is seek expert advice. 
before going for your presentation just meet some expert who are great in public speaking and just try to get some advice from them see they have the experience they have the ability to grab audience attention right when you will go to them they will give you some excellent advice and which will definitely help you to get rid of claustrophobia last but not the least get ready for your presentation again this is very common mistake there are many people they are not ready for presentation that means they are just doing because someone is forcing them to do because they have to do that's what they are doing if you will not do anything from your heart then you will not get success in it right so it is important for you to make yourself ready mentally and physically then only you will be able to give best presentation so these seven tips can definitely help you to get rid of claustrophobia and if you will follow the seven tips then definitely you can speak with confidence with your energy with excitement and audience will like your message very much thanks a lot for watching this video and share this video with your friends and family thank you